This is the coldest day of the year so far. And it's pretty cold and it's quite soon actually to be this cold. I feel like summer lasted until like two weeks ago and now it's full blown winter, like out of nowhere. Uh, we didn't really have a fall. It just jumped. Um, but here in Brazil, everything is kind of messy anyway, and it's more and more messy. And so maybe it's gonna be warm during the winter. I don't know, but this is definitely the coldest day so far. And now let's go make some tea and see if I can keep warm during this day. But never mind the cold, this video is about something that has been on my mind. I don't know if it's going to make any sense to anyone, but I've been thinking about this lately. I know I'm usually chaotic because it is hard for me to organize my thoughts and make them make sense, but let's try. Is your inspiration igniting something new or keeping you in a puddle of sameness? This is something I go through very often. And I wonder about how much of myself I am being able to put into my work. Are my references sucking all my personality from my art? Am I allowing my influences to dictate what is right or wrong? good or bad, not leaving room for experimentation. I find it so hard to balance my references versus what is coming from me, what is really mine. Where do the influence end and my own mind, thoughts, views and ideas begin? Something can inspire you and you may agree with it so much that you bring nothing new to the table. You just absorb that and that becomes so intrinsically part of you that you end up just repeating what has already been done. I know I'm guilty of it, <laughs> I still do it when I'm not paying attention, which is a lot of the times, unfortunately. After a long time of reflecting on it, I realize this has a lot to do with self-doubt. I doubt myself so much that I don't even dare modify anything and make it my own. I'm afraid uh, if I bring my baggage I'm going to poison it and ruin everything. I have this deep sense that what is worth saying has already been said, and yet I find myself in awe of new artists saying new things. This is such a low self-esteem symptom. I don't think I'm smart enough or talented enough to add something. I don't think my inner world is interesting to the outside world. And that hurts my creativity, 
More than that, that hurts the creative and artistic world as well. The world doesn't need more of what already exists. The world thrives in constant change and mutation and nothing really remains still. Nothing remains. So if an idea is left intact, it disappears. If a concept is left untouched, it dies. If we don't bring ourselves and our own shit to the table, we are doing a disservice. We are stealing from our community. We are stealing from our audience. But that's a lot easier said than done. How does one find the courage to bring their own voice into the equation and make something a little bit more aligned with their personality? More in sync with their identity? Adding something new, a new perspective, a new idea, a new question. Even though finding ways to tweak things and make them my own is the first thing that comes to mind when I see something I like, I am left with a question and insert. Sometimes I find the courage and succeed in doing so. Sometimes I become a mimic, a copycat. Other times I don't even try. The latter is more frequent at this point. Let's say I do find the courage to put myself in it, in my work, in whatever I do. Then how much is enough? How much is enough to keep the essence and not transform it into something that it is not? Where's the sweet spot? Making things and being inspired to make things is a whole organism. Do I overthink it? Absolutely. But it is definitely a whole bunch of things that need to work together to create a result. The way from point A to point B may seem like a straight line, but there's so much in between these points that we don't see. There's so much thinking, so much feeling, so many questions, so many doubts, so much courage and so much pain. And my question is, is it worth it? Is art worth all that journey that resides between point A and point B? I will let you answer that.
<laughs> I'm still left with questions unanswered, but what I know and need to remind myself every day is that making art is a vulnerable place we put ourselves in. Whether or not we believe in ourselves doesn't matter as much to the world. What matters is that we do our thing in a place of honesty, in a place of openness, in that vulnerable place. That way we can connect with others that feel the same way, experience the same questions, the same emotions. And that is the beauty of art. We can evoke feelings inside someone with a piece we created alone with our own emotions. We can connect with people we never talked to or never seen. We can make people feel seen and heard and represented. We just need to do it. And believe that if we feel the way we feel, someone else is definitely feeling the same. How much of yourself do you put into the work? How do you balance your influences and references with your own baggage? I couldn't say. But as long as you're finding ways of being honest in your expression, as abstract as it may sound, it seems like a good place to start. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe. This new format of video is still a struggle for me, so if you have suggestions, please leave them in the comments, I would much appreciate it. I'll see you next time, be safe, bye.